السلام عليكم ورحمة الله Today inshallah we're going to solve Cambridge exam October November 2021 Paper 22 Let's start it Question 1 An experiment is set up as shown Here on the left side You have a cotton wool soaked in ammonia And on the right side We have a cotton wool soaked in hydrochloric acid after several minutes, a white ring of ammonium chloride appears here, as shown in the second diagram. Which statements explain the observation after several minutes? The rate of diffusion inversely proportional with the molar mass. So first we will calculate the molar or the molecular mass of ammonia, which is 17, then for hydrogen chloride, which is 36.5. So ammonia gas has lower molecular mass, so it will diffuse faster. Ammonia gas diffuses faster than hydrogen chloride gas because its molecules have a lower molecular mass. So the answer is A. Question 2. A student put exactly 25 cm cube of dilute hydrochloric acid into a conical flask. The student add 2.5 grams of solid sodium carbonate and measure the change in temperature of the mixture. Which apparatus does the student need to use? To measure exactly 25 centimeter cube, he needs a pipette, 2.5 grams, he needs a balance, and the change in temperature, he needs a thermometer, so the answer is C. Question 3. A student separates sugar from pieces of broken glass by dissolving the sugar in water and filter out the broken glass. Here on the filter paper, we have the broken glass and the filter it will be sugar solution and the answer will be D. <coughs> Question 4. How many protons, neutron, electrons are there in one atom of the isotope aluminium 1327? It's an atom, so number of electrons equal to the number of protons. Here, the proton number is 13, so number of protons will be 13 and number of electrons will be 13 also. Number of neutrons equal to 27, which is a nuclear number, minus the atomic number, it will be 14. So the answer is B. Question 5. Which description of brass is correct? Brass is an alloy of copper and zinc. So the answer is A. Question 6. Some properties of diamond are shown. It's very hard. Every atom forms four bones. It doesn't conduct electricity. Which properties are also shown by silicon oxide? Silicon is also hard, it doesn't conduct electricity, but statement 2 is wrong because each silicon atom bonded to four oxygen atoms, but each oxygen atom bonded only to two silicon atoms. So only one and three is correct, and the answer is C. Question 7. Which statement describes the attractive forces between molecules? Molecules have atoms which are covalently bonded and we have weak intermolecular forces between the molecule So the answer will be C. They are weak forces forming between the covalently bonded molecules Question 8. Which substance is described as macromolecule? We have micromolecule is a giant covalent structure like graphite and diamond So here the answer is B Question 9 the equation for the reaction of sodium with water is shown. Sodium <coughs> reacts with water to form sodium hydroxide and hydrogen. What is the volume of hydrogen gas measured at room temperature produced when 18.4 grams of sodium react with excess water? First, we will calculate number of moles of sodium. Dividing the mass of sodium, which is 18.4, by the molar mass of sodium, which is 23. So number of moles is 0.8. Then number of moles of hydrogen from the ratio between sodium and hydrogen in the equation. It's 2 to 1. So number of moles of hydrogen is half that of sodium. So it will be 0.4. Then to calculate the volume of hydrogen gas produced, we will use the equation for gases, number of moles equal to volume, divide the molar volume, so the volume will be 0.04 multiplied by the molar volume, which is 24 for all gases at room temperature and pressure, so the volume of hydrogen will be 9.6 dT meter cube, and the answer is A. Question 10. 
Iron can be electroplated with zinc to make it resistant to corrosion. Which row about electroplating iron with zinc is correct? In electroplating, the object to be electroplated is always at the cathode. So iron should be at the negative electrode and zinc should be at the positive electrode. The electrolyte made from a salt of the metal at the anode. So the electrolyte be a salt for zinc, which is zinc nitrate, and the cathode will be iron, the anode will be zinc. Question 11. Chlorine reacts with ethane to produce chloroethane and hydrogen chloride. The equation is as shown, and the reaction is exothermic. Bond energies are shown in the table. First, we will calculate energy needed for bond breaking. We have five CH bonds, one carbon-carbon bone, and one chlorine-chlorine bone. We will add this energy together, and the total will be 3050. Then, we will calculate the energy released for bond making. We have five CH bonds, one carbon-carbon bond, one carbon-chlorine bond, and one HCl bond. Energy released when bond making, 3170, and delta H released from the reaction will be 3050 minus 3170. It will be minus 120 kilojoule per mole, and the answer is B. Question 12. Chlorine gas is bubbled into aqueous potassium iodide. What is the ionic equation for the reaction that takes place? Chlorine gas is diatomic molecule, so the formula is Cl2. An aqueous potassium iodide contains iodide ions. So when chlorine reacts with iodide ions, chlorine oxidizes iodide ions into iodine because chlorine is an oxidizing agent, so the answer will be C. Question 13. Concentrated aqueous sodium chloride is electrolyzed. Which equation represents the reaction at the cathode? At the cathode, hydrogen gas will be discharged, so two hydrogen ions will accept two electrons to form hydrogen gas. Question 14. Which statement about hydrogen are correct? When hydrogen is burned, heat energy is released. Yes, it's an exothermic reaction. When hydrogen is used as a fuel cell, electrical energy is generated. And when hydrogen is used as a fuel, water is the only product. Hydrogen reacts with oxygen, and it produces water as only product. So all the assessments are correct, 1, 2, and 3, and the answer will be A. Question 15. Solid X is heated strongly. The color of the solid change from blue to white. Which is the solid X? Solid X is hydrated copper sulfate, which is blue in color, and it, when it loses water, it will convert to anhydrous copper sulfate, which is white in color. Question 16. Iron 2 chloride solution react with chlorine gas. The equation is as shown. Iron 2 chloride reacts with chlorine to form iron 3 chloride. Which statement about the reaction is correct? Iron plus 2 ions reduced into iron plus 3. This is of course wrong because increasing in the positive charge means loss of electron and loss of electron is oxidation. Chlorine acts as a reducing agent. This is wrong because iron is oxidized, so chlorine is an oxidizing agent. Iron plus two ions, it loses an electron. Yes, the charge increased from positive two to positive three means it loses one electron. Chlorine molecules are reduced into chloride ions. Chlorine is an oxidizing agent, so it will be reduced into chloride ions. And the answer, both three and four, will be correct. The answer is D. Question 17. Which statement about acid and bases are correct? An acid reacts with a metal to give off hydrogen. This is a typical reaction of acid plus metal. A base reacts with ammonium salt to give ammonia. This is the test used for ammonium ions. An acid reacts with carbonate to give off carbon dioxide. Alkaline solutions are orange in missile orange. No, they are yellow. So only one, two, three are correct. And the answer is A. Question 18. Oxide 1 is a solid that reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid. So 
it's a basic oxide oxide 2 is a gas that reacts with sodium hydroxide solution so it's acidic oxide metals are base form basic oxide so oxide 1 is an oxide of metal and oxide 2 is acidic oxide and the answer will be b which reaction is a photochemical reaction photochemical reaction reaction that needs light we have substitution of methane with chlorine is a photochemical reaction so the answer is d 20 the equation which represent a reaction at equilibrium m and n represent the balancing number of the reactant and the product respectively a high temperature increase the concentration of q so increasing the temperature shifting the reaction forward so it's an endothermic reaction a high pressure increase the concentration of q increase the pressure increase the concentration of q that is to mean that the equilibrium shifted to the right hand side meaning that n is smaller than m so which statement about the reaction is correct first one the reaction is endothermic second m is greater than n so the answer is c 21 a period in the periodic table is shown number of the groups and a symbol for the element this letter is not their actual symbols which statement is correct element r doesn't react doesn't conduct electricity of course this is wrong element r is in group one so it's a metal it will conduct electricity element r and y react together to form ionic compound r and r in group one and y in group seven group one and group seven react to form ionic compounds so statement b is correct element z exists as diatomic molecule z are noble gases it exists only as monoatomic element z react with element t element z noble gases are inert so it will not react question 22 all metal nitrates are soluble in water a metal chloride are soluble except silver and lead chloride all metal carbonates are insoluble except sodium and potassium which aqueous solution produce a precipitate when mix it together so for each of these equations we will find the product then we will see if it is soluble or it will form a precipitate first equation we have silver carbonate and sodium nitrate silver carbonate is insoluble so the first one will give a precipitate second one the product is silver chloride which is insoluble so we have a precipitate in the second equation also third equation barium nitrate potassium chloride we have barium chloride which is soluble and potassium nitrate which is soluble so precipitate will form only in equation 1 and equation 2 and the answer is a question 23 which row describe the properties of transition element transition element form color compound have high density and has variable oxidation state so the answer is a question 24 the novel gases are in group 8 of the periodic table which statement explain the novel gases unreactive they all have eight electrons in their outer shell. This statement is wrong because helium has only two electrons in its outer shell, but they are unreactive because they all have full outer shells. So the answer is B. Question 25. Which statement is correct for all metals? They conduct electricity when they are molten. Yes, this is correct statement. They gain electrons when they form ions. This is wrong because metals form positive ion and lose electrons we have low density or low melting points this is wrong and the answer would be a question 26 carbon dioxide is produced during the extraction of aluminium from bauxite carbon dioxide is produced due to the reaction of oxygen gas produced at the anode with the graphite anodes forming carbon dioxide and this is why graphite electrodes has to be replaced regularly because it burns in the presence of oxygen question 27 aluminium objects don't need protection from corrosion an iron object must be protected from corrosion which statement explain why aluminium resists corrosion aluminium resists corrosion because it forms a protective oxide layer prevent the metal from further reaction 
and prevent it from corrosion. So the answer is C. Question 28. Which statement explain why zinc is used to protect iron from rusting? Zinc is more reactive than iron. Yes. And zinc act as a sacrificial metal because it is oxidized in preference of iron or lose electron in preference of iron. So we have one and four correct and the answer is B. Question 29. Which condition are used in Happer process? You have to know the condition for Happer process. 40, uh, 450 degrees uh, Celsius and 200 atmospheric pressure. Question 30. Which process doesn't produce a greenhouse gas? Greenhouse gases are carbon dioxide and methane gas. So first one, acid rain on limestone building, limestone calcium carbonate reacts with acid to produce carbon dioxide. Combustion also produces carbon dioxide and digestion in cows produce carbon dioxide. When zinc react with sulfuric acid, carbon dioxide not produced. So the only equation that will not produce carbon dioxide is D. Question 31. Which reaction involves sulfur dioxide is correct? It is produced during the extraction of zinc from zinc blend. Yes, it reacts with concentrated sulfuric acid to form oleum. No, this is for sulfur trioxide. It reacts with sulfur to form sulfur trioxide. This is wrong. It reacts with oxygen. It turns an acidified solution of potassium manganate burble. No, it turns the acidified potassium manganate colorless. So the only correct answer is A. Question 23. Lime, which is calcium oxide, is used to treat wastewater from factory. It used to treat wastewater because wastewater is acidic. So we use basic oxide like calcium oxide to treat it. Which statement, which substance is removed by lime? Because lime is a basic oxide, so it will remove acid, which is sulfuric acid. Question 33. What is the structure of an ester formed from ethanoic acid and propanol? We have to search for structures that contain two carbons in the acid part because it's an ethanoic acid and three carbon in the alcohol part which is propanol. So correct ester linkage here and two carbon in the acid part, three carbon in the alcohol part. So the answer is D. Question 34. Fuel X produces carbon dioxide and water when it is burned in air. So does fuel Y? So X and Y are hydrocarbons. When hydrocarbon burns in air, it produces carbon dioxide and water. So we have to choose answer in for X and Y which in which they are both hydrocarbons. So the answer is D. Question 35. The structure of four organic molecules are shown. How many different series are represented by these molecules? Here we have the first series, which is alkane, because all bones are single. Second one is an acid, carboxylic acid. It's a second series. Third and fourth one, they represent the same series, which is alcohol. So we have only three series, and the answer is C. Question 36. Which statement about ethene is correct? Ethene has a formula of C2H6. This is wrong because ethene is C2H4. It burns in excess oxygen, producing carbon dioxide and water. This is correct for all hydrocarbons. It reacts with bromine to produce an orange solution. This is wrong. It will react with bromine to produce colorless solution and react with oxygen to form ethanol. This is also wrong because ethene will react with steam to form ethanol. Question 37. Ethanol is manufactured by fermentation of sugar or by catalytic hydration of ethene. Which row states an advantage of each method? Advantage of fermentation that is used as renewable resources, which is carbohydrate, and advantage of the hydration method of ethene. It's a continuous process. So the answer is D. Question 38. Which statement about the unsaturated hydrocarbon are correct? unsaturated hydrocarbon it must have one or more double bond in the structure so they contain both single and double bonds yes this is correct 
they turn aqueous bromine from colorless to brown. No, this is wrong, from brown to colorless. They can manufacture by cracking. This is also correct, so we have one and three correct answer, and the answer is B. Question 39. Which polymers have the same linkage between monomer units? Protein has amide linkage between its monomers, and polyamide has also amide linkage between its monomers, so they both have the same linkage, and the answer will be C. Question 40. The diagram shows us the partial structure of trilly. From which pair of compound it is made? As we can see from the structure of trilene, it is formed of two monomer, the first one with a white block and the second one with a dark block. The white block has one carboxylic group at each end and the dark block has hydroxyl group at each end. So the polymer will be as shown in the answer A. Here we come to the end of our exam. Like the video and subscribe to the channel to get all the updates. Thank you for watching. Wish you all best of luck.